I was 12 years old in 1977 when Star Wars was first released and it became my movie of the summer. Back then I could get into the theater for a buck, I think it was a dollar if you were under 13, and my best friend Tibby Milvane and I used to get on our bicycles, ride down the 87th Avenue service road on our way to the Meadowlark Cinema. Well, that was 28 years ago. I am no longer 12. The Meadowlark Cinema no longer exists, but the force is with us, always. At least it's about to reawaken. And as I wrote my column, I got to thinking how fascinating it is to be able to see Mark Hamill, Carrie Fisher, and Harrison Ford back on screen. They've aged in real time just the way I have. Okay, I grant you, Harrison Ford, maybe he's Dorian Gray in another life because he still looks like a movie star. It's worth remembering though that he's now 10 years older than Sir Alec Guinness was when he first played Obi-Wan Kenobi. When I go to see Star Wars, and I'm going with my husband very soon, what's going to be fascinating for me is to see not a reflection of my youth, but a reflection of my age. Because we've grown up with this movie, quite literally. And now the stars have grown up along with us. And what I'll be watching for is that gentle sense of elegy. I haven't had as many intergalactic adventures, but I've had a few quests and adventures of my own. So when my husband and I head out to see Star Wars, as I think we intend to do this weekend, because we're those kind of geeks, I'm going to be interested to see not just a reflection of my childhood on the screen, but a reflection of how far I've come right along with Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, and Han Solo.